Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Right guys, <clears throat> welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're gonna sit over here today. I think, unless the lighting's too terrible, in which case we'll sit over here. Hey, no, that's shit. <sighs> oh, much better. <sighs> okay guys, how are we? And welcome back to another video. Today, it's Wednesday. That's effectively my 10th day here since enrolling at Tiger Muay Thai. Um, today, I'm coming to you with the title of the video, Mission Accomplished. And um, I guess today is a very proud moment, actually, believe it or not, um, but also a very scary moment. And uh, the mission that we've accomplished, guys, on the 10th day of being here is I've been told that uh, tomorrow I should not turn up to the beginner class I should instead go to the intermediate class and uh, you know being being uh, the sort of anxious person that I am at heart instantly I, uh, I, I began worrying I began getting anxious um, but at the end of the day, you've got to trust the coaches. And the coaches basically said, don't come back to this class, man. You've got enough power. Your technique is, is getting there. And I feel like you're going to you know, improve more if you go to this intermediate class. Now, they didn't say it in those particular words because their English is not that good. But that, that's how I got it. So as of tomorrow morning, I think I'm going to go to the intermediate class. But I, I, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. What I did is I actually sat down and watched half of an intermediate class and everything they were doing is, you know, it's intermediate. It's, you know, the, you know all the punches, you know the kicks and the, the knees, you know the technique. It's just a matter of practicing combinations um, and having a, a partner in front of you that you're working with that, that is at that same skill level. And to be honest, guys, it's going to be a massive challenge. It's going to be a massive a massive challenge for me to for, for me to turn up there and, and, and be confident. You know, you've got to be confident. You've got to be confident in yourself. And that's something I, I wanted to get out of this trip, you know what I mean? Um, and it's something that's coming along slowly. So I am getting what I wanted out of it. Now, um, let me just run through, before I do go to an intermediate class, I want to run through once and for all what, what a beginner class is actually like. Some of you guys are probably wondering. It's, it's an hour and 50 minutes, usually. They usually finish about 10, 15, uh, five or ten minutes before the two hour mark just so the the next people can sort of start getting ready and and all that but basically it's it's 15 minutes 15 solid minutes of running jogging around the mat the outside of the mat everyone jogs around then they'll they'll clap their hands and they'll for a minute they'll go you know side to side for a minute they'll do a, a sort of a um grapevine thing with your legs another minute hands up in the air another minute just one two while you're running another minute um, uppercuts and basically you know 15 minutes worth of cardio the first five minutes are always just running and then they'll, they'll add in those those different things so by the end of that you've got a good sweater no doubt in the world or at least I do following that we come in and do a few stretches for about five ten minutes and then we get into lines and we practice one two three four five six left knee up uh, left knee left elbow right elbow left knee right knee left kick right kick front kick with the left front kick with the right back spinning elbow back spinning fists and then following that which is pretty hard i mean they, they go one 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 two one two left uppercut right uppercut like it's that pace for, for a good 10-15 minutes and that's you know with these 16 16 ounce gloves your shoulders are the thing that actually gets sore in that so 
15 minutes warm up, 5-10 minutes stretching, at least 15 minutes worth of you know, uh, technique and then that brings us to about 45 minutes through the session already. Following that we get into partners and we, we, uh, they, they show us something that we are going to work on. Um, whether it be boxing skills, whether it be Muay Thai skills, whether it be blocking skills, whether it be clinching skills and basically you'll have you know three two minute rounds with a partner just going back and forth with a certain skill. In between those you'll get ten put you have to do ten push-ups and you have a, a little drink of water. So that would be another 10 minutes or 15 minutes I'd say and that probably brings you to the hour mark. Following that we then go into one-on-one uh, -on -one with the trainer but if there's too many people half of the class will do bag work and half of the class will be with the trainer. Now we do three three minute rounds with a minute or two in between. In between at the end of each round you'll do 10 push-ups, you'll get a quick drink and get ready for the next round. Three minutes you're either on the bag or with the trainer like I said. So that if you're on the bag you're basically just practicing those you know combinations and those um, techniques, those different punches, knees, kicks by yourself. It's basically just, just you know doing bag work by yourself. Now for your first couple of lessons when you don't really know what the fuck you're doing that can be very intimidating. You feel like people are watching you but at the end of the day it's, it's, it's cool man because personally I get zoned in. Especially when I'm with a trainer one on one. I am looking at that trainer. I am not looking at anyone else. I'm not thinking about anyone else. I'm putting my 110% effort into that, you know, that, that trainer because I know that they're putting their 100% effort into me. Or at least most of the time they are. Unless they're looking at girls. Which I do tend to do sometimes too, so I can't blame them. But anyways, um, so we do three rounds on the bag which is you know three to five minutes per, per round including the break and everything so that's another 15 minutes that's an hour and 15 for the next 15 we'll do the we'll swap over and do it with the trainer recently I've been doing bag first and then trainer afterwards so that's another half an hour and that brings us to an hour and a half through the session following that we'll have a nice break and then we'll come together again and get into partners for a bit of sparring whether it's clinching sparring, whether it's boxing sparring, usually it's a little bit of sparring to do with whatever technique they, they showed us and whatever thing we did in partners. So um, today was boxing sparring. Sparring is a word that I've always wanted to test myself with. I've always wanted to do sparring, but it's scary. It's scary. And today, for example, I went in there thinking, I'm, gonna tr I'm just going to try and work on my defense. I'm going to try and work on my movement. I'm not going to go in with big combos or anything like that. I'm just going to work, work on my movement and sort of try and stay away from, from, from uh, you know, anyone's punches. Um, and then possibly, you know, come in with a counter or try and slip and, and, and hit them in the midsection. To be honest, today I, I, <laughs> I got a, a couple of nice upper, up, uppercuts to my chin, which I don't like. I don't like the feeling, but it is what it is. And um, you know that sparring was probably at 20-30%. So imagine what full 100% intensity sparring would be like. I mean, that's some scary shit. And you've got to be confident in yourself. But that's that's working your way up. You know, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and then there's a, a level above advanced, and that's fighter. That's pro fighter. So <sighs> uh, after a little bit of sparring or whatever they want to do, we will come back down to the mat and. Uh, you know, do either a finisher together, which is possibly getting in a line and doing squats together at one time, or getting in a line doing sit-ups together, maybe you know 50. Possibly getting in partners, locking your um, your feet together and doing 50 a plank for maybe a minute, two minutes, something, some sort of finisher, and then a little bit of stretching at the end, and then cup and cup, we're done. So that that is a bit of an outline of of, of a beginner class. If I never set foot in one again. If I never step foot in one again, um, that's what they're like before I go and forget all that and go to the intermediate class. I'm too scared to, honestly, I'm too scared. <laughs> I'm going to really, oh, I don't know, man. The morning session's definitely going to be one that I have to hit because that is when my motivation is the highest. I literally, my, my morning routine is get up at quarter past seven, have a shower, put my contact lenses in, go downstairs where there's a free coffee machine. I have three shots back to back jump on my scooter, five minutes down the road and I'm there. Like it's a fucking cool morning. It really is. And um, 
you know, there's been mornings where I think, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm not feeling it this morning, but you've just got to get down there. You've just got to get there. Start running around, like I said, and, and after five minutes, you've got to sweat up, and it's like, well, I'm not leaving now. So mission accomplished. Mission accomplished, man. I have been a little homesick at times, you know what I mean? I have met a couple of people. They, you know, will go down and have a protein shake or something like a coffee after training. But it's, it's, all, it's all small talk for me so far. And that's the kind of guy I am, man. I'm really, I'm really quite reserved in, in you know, with meeting new people. And um, I think, I keep on going back to thinking, you know, wherever I'm living permanently after this, I'm going to join a club, obviously a martial arts academy or a boxing academy, whichever one I want to do. And um, I like the thought of, you know, coming together three times a week or whatever in your hometown. Everyone lives there. There's not going to be new people every session. You're going to really get to know your, your, your um, training partners and your, your teammates. And that's the real vibe that I want to go for. You know, this is great, but there are always new people. People are always coming and going. And with me, you know, being quite reserved, not really opening myself up to, to people unless I know that they sort of live in the same town or whatever. That's my fault, that's my bad, but it is the way I am. And so I feel like I'd really start, you know, thriving in an environment where I know these people are going to be turning up each week. And, you know, fellow Kiwis, fellow Australians, you know, there's people from all over the world here. Different, like, I mean, <laughs> the first day, the first day was fucking embarrassing, man. I, I, I actually mentioned it in the first video that I kept on apologizing to this guy, this, this guy that I was partnered up with because he probably, he'd obviously done a few sessions and that was my first session and I kept on fucking it up and, you know, the, the hardest thing for me is actually not doing the combination myself but then being on the other end and, and ha having to hold the pads and, you know, obviously doing the exact opposite of what you've just done. Like, my brain just doesn't work like that sometimes. and. This guy was getting frustrated, I could tell, and I was like, apologizing, but then at the end of it, I was like, man, fuck that. Fuck that, bro, I'm in a beginner class. This guy shouldn't be getting frustrated. And then I tried to apologize, I tried to actually talk to him afterwards, just to make friends with him. He goes, English, no. <laughs> I'm like, fuck! But uh, he was a Dagestani fighter, I believe. He looked like one anyway. Guys, that's it for today. Mission accomplished. It's day number 10. My mission was accomplished after a total of seven Muay Thai sessions. I went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday last week. I had Saturday, Sunday, Monday off, and now I've gone Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's seven sessions, 14 hours total, and they've told me I can go to the advanced class. Now, I don't know if, if they, if, 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 you know, everyone should be expecting that to happen, but I'm pretty pleased and pretty proud of myself at the end of the day. We'll have to see, man. We'll have to see. I'm going to continue doing my one-on-one -on -one sessions with um, Ali. I'm so glad I met him on the first day. I really am, because he seems to be the most personable. He seems to he seems to, to like me. I don't know if he you know likes everyone he meets, but he seems to like me and we get along well. And um, I'm about to do my second one-on-one -on -one session. I will be filming that and I'll be doing it with Ali. So you can expect to see that in the next video. Um, we're going to be doing that tomorrow. I might actually skip the morning session just so I've got enough energy to do that. But, uh, you know, probably not. Because I'll wake up at 7 I'll be like, well, what else am I going to do? I better go down to training. And that's the vibe here, man. It's like, what else are you going to do? You're immersed in the fucking culture, man. You're here. You know, make the most of it. And that's what I'm doing. So by the time you see this video, major key physiques, Let's just go off on another tangent for a second. Major Key Physique's my brand. I actually shut it down whilst I'm here for this particular reason because I've got no way of packing orders and I actually had no place to even put my computer gear or anything. I don't have a computer with me. I've got nothing. So uh, my memory cards are actually filling up. I'm going to have to use someone's computer and put the footage from my memory cards onto my hard drive, which I've got with me, clear these memory cards once again, charge my batteries, and, and Bob's your uncle. So, guys, um, as you can probably tell, I'm, I'm actually quite pumped. Um, it was a good session today, good sweat, and, um, well, with that being said, have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. If you're thinking about coming to Tiger Muay Thai and my, my videos have helped, or, 
you know, that I feel like I gave a really, you know, pretty good breakdown of a beginner class. And I would have been really keen to hear that before coming here. So I hope this has helped someone out there. I hope you guys are having a great time in life. If you're not, there's always a way to change it. Step by step, guys. Nothing happens overnight. I had to take multiple steps to even get here to be able to do this. I haven't talked about that, but life, life is a roller coaster. Just get inside it. No, sorry guys. <laughs> I've really got to fucking calm down. Anyways, final verdict. Mission accomplished. Stoked. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out from Phuket, Thailand.